all evening. Trying to police this match are three veterans, Messrs. Remigio Bartolome, Reynaldo Victorino, and Willie Mateo, wearing numbers 6, 12, and 14, respectively. Jeff oh, Collins yes. with a great follow-up. Well, Joe, these two teams are so evenly matched, we can have nothing but a good series here. Both teams have good starting fives. They have strong benches. They have good big men in the person of Manny Victorino and Abigail Dobbin. What more can you ask for? Well, that fact certainly has not been lost on this basketball batty country. Uh, 17,000 of them turned out in the flesh for this match. And we expect a lot more as the series progresses. But in Israel turned in the second basket for Quispa, giving them a two-point lead. Alalor misses a point-blank range, and a loose ball foul is spotted on Alalor himself. Well, that was the second straight time that Alalor had good penetration, but he missed the shot. Good tap out by Victorino. And this is the one guy who's probably be the biggest thorn on the sides of the Redmondizers, Manny Victorino. Oh, yes. yes. And look at him trying to outsprint Abed Kidabin. Smart move on the part of Manny Victorino. Oh, he put up the head. shot just the same because he knew a foul was coming from Padim Israel. So he's going to take two from the stripe. Chance to level the count anew. We're a minute and 30 seconds into the game. Well, this early, you can tell both clubs are playing inspired ball. And the crowd is just about evenly split among Great Days fans and the Chris Fanatics. Two for two from the line for Manny Victorino. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He split his charity, so it's a one-point lead for the Redmondizers. Bernie Fabiosa quarterbacking for the white-shirted Redmondizers, picked up by Ricky Brown. Here's Philip Cesar playing outside. Lob pass intended for Jeff Collins, fell into the wrong hands. Bernie Fabiosa got into the act, too, preventing a fast break, being triggered off by Ricky Brown. Show probably the team that can really limit their turnovers while also getting their defensive rebound will win this game because in the past these two teams have had habits of committing a, a great deal of turnovers so the team that can really take care of the basketball will have a better chance of winning as you see Adonato hit from the outside it's a one-point lead for the great day coffee makers so errors and turnovers will play a vital role in the outcome of this game and so our inaccuracies like that displayed by Willis. In the meantime, Alalor vindicated himself from two earlier bloopers by coming through with a 15-footer to upgrade this lead to 3-7-4. And so far early in the game, you're getting a taste of the great taste fast break. Jeff Collins is from Philip Cesar once again. The Sultan of Swipe, Mr. Ricky Brown, gets it over to Collins. Follow up by Alalor, a third effort. Collins coming through with his fourth point tonight and a five-point lead for great pace. The game is three minutes old. The Redmondizers probably realizing the futility of trying to keep in step with a running game of great pace have decided to settle down to the half-court offense. They probably will do that much of the time, unless, of course, the opportunities present themselves for fast breaks. That would be their best philosophy. Run when you have it, set it up when you don't. We're going to have another fast break for great pace. Alalor, yes, sir. Four points now for Ponky Alalor, and a seven-point lead for the Crisper Red Redmondizers. The last time around, I mean the last time these two clubs met, when the coffee men erected a big lead, the Redmondizers were never able to catch up. And this is something Crispa might do well to bear in mind. They have to keep coming back. They can't allow such a big lead. And Abed Gidabin misses a point blank range. Beautiful intensity the man who's running next to Mon Fernandez in the MVP Derby and who was himself the MVP last year has proven himself to be the most consistent player in the Christmas squad this year well the last time these two teams met Joe the great taste club really pulled away in the second half as Manny Victorino gets an offensive rebound can not give Ricardo Brown that shot and when Ricky Brown starts his rifle blasting away that's bad news. He's going to go on a big tear again. Great taste is up by seven now. 13-6. Bernie Fabiosa has it. The bounce pass to Philip Cesar. It was telegraphed, but recovered by Philip Cesar. And Bernie Fabiosa loses it anew. Another fast break. Being fashioned by Great Taste. Collins comes through with a spectacular 200 stuff. 
great shot by Collins. Good hustle on defense by the Great Taste Club. So far for Great Taste, the defense is causing good offense. In the wink of an eye, the Great Taste Coffee men are up by nine. And Crispa finding themselves in battle. Desperately need a basket, but they're not going to get it. Losing the ball that way. Great block by Alalor. Brown has it against Padim Israel. Great interception by Bernie Fabiosa. Philip Cesar right behind him. Very unselfish act on the part of Philip Cesar, but then it was unwise. He should have taken a shot himself. Jeff Collins running rings around three crisp red night redmanizers. As Ricky Brown continues to go about his murderous ways, picking up his second basket tonight for an 11-point lead. I think when there's a break in the play, there's a dead ball situation, Coach Bernie should get a timeout because Great Taste is threatening to blow this game away right here in the first quarter. You can say that again. Mike Stubble sitting uneasily in front of the official's desk is going to check in at the next dead ball situation. Cesar works it over to Abid Gidaben. It's one-on-one -on -one between him and Manny Victorino. The reverse layup is good. Difficult shot by Gidaben. First basket in a long, long spell for the Red Blazers. Jeff Collins goes up against Padim Israel. He didn't have the shooter's bounce that time. And Philip Cesar scampers down court with a leather. Abid Gidaben, cross-court pass. They shouldn't have tried that. And it's three-on-one. And poor Bernie Fabiosa, all he could do was stand with his mouth agape as the ball found its way into the hole. 98. Well, an interesting lineup that baby Coach Baby DeLupin started out with. He has two small forwards in the game in the likes of Alalor and Adonato. A lot of quickness. That's true, a lot of quickness. And certainly bolstering the great taste type of offense. Time out by Baby Dalupan. We'll be right back. We're over the halfway house of the first period, and it's been great pace practically in the last three minutes of this hair-racing ball game. They put together a salvo that gives them an 11-point lead at this juncture. No longer 19-10. Philip Cesar coming through with his first basket tonight. Ricky Brown picked up by Mike Cristobal. All right. Bernie Bernardo is expecting to get a lot more defensive mileage on Ricky Brown from by Cristobal. Mani Victorino from the right side. He puts it up over Abed Giraben. Willis boxing out Carpio from the rebound. And Carpio committing his first foul tonight. Well, this has been a very quick first quarter. As V. Lamine is in the game for Crispa. Red Manizer is working the ball around the perimeter. Abed Gidabin missing from his usual angle. And that oh, was a one way stuff by Jeff Collins. He was also hit in the eye. No foul was called. To be exact, it was the left eye. Found itself on the receiving end of a wayward finger. Accidentally thrown, I'm sure. 21 10, 11 point lead for great taste. Philip Cesar in the left corner. At about the same time last year, the Great Taste Coffee men found themselves at the bitter end of a shutout. Well, the 25-second clock just went off on the Crystal Club. It's going to be Great Taste basketball. Two team falls for Great Taste, one for Crispa. Four minutes and 17 seconds left in this first quarter, which has been relatively clean, except for occasional wayward elbows and fingers flying inside heavy traffic. Victorino banging into Yoyo Villamina. Ricky Brown trying to shake off by Cristobal. Mani Victorino inside heavy traffic. The Crespo defense is putting up or falling beautiful into place that time. And by Cristobal picked up the loose ball. They keep blowing that outlet pass. 21 10. Very bad shot taken there by Jeff Collins. His counterpart, Carlton Willis. Oh, good over. defense. Great taste is playing good defense at this point. Also great rebounding here by Jeff Collins. Here's Jeff. Manny Victorino slightly open. Yes, sir. Three points now for Manny Victorino, who metamorphosed from a journeyman center to a superstar and with the likes of Mon Fernandez overnight. All right. 
Carlton Willis comes through with his first bucket tonight to make it 23-12 still, a commanding 11-point lead for the Coffee Men. And expect that to happen a great deal as Carlton Willis is going to take Alalor down low. We're going to have a foul, foul called on 